It was an illustration of the fine line that municipalities are walking as they deal with the rising cost of flood insurance. Officials from nine counties were in Sunbury for a flood mitigation meeting chaired by Congressman Lou Barletta. The goal was to hear their challenges and concerns and then connect them with key resources to help reduce the risk and costs of flooding. It's a daunting task even for the central Susquehanna Valley and its many river-based communities. They were built along the rivers 100, 150 years ago. Some of our communities have 50 percent of their homes in the floodplain. Um, many of those homes are the blue-collar workers, the lower-income families, the properties have been repetitively flooded, many of them, and so they're lower value properties. What our concern is, is that as flood insurance premiums escalate, a number of things are going to happen within our communities. Flood insurance, for those that have mortgages and have flood insurance, as the rates increase, they will be more difficult to pay. Properties will become less saleable or reduced value as a result of the increased premium. And in worst case scenarios, people will not be able to keep up with mortgages, maintenance, and premiums, and properties become abandoned. It's just one of the many problems that result from flooding along with the loss of tax base, maintaining infrastructure for smaller numbers of homes, reduce value and blight. But local communities like Sunbury, Bloomsburg and Danville are tackling the issues that could qualify them for programs like FEMA's community rating system that could reduce flood insurance rates by 5 to 45 percent. The city of Sunbury earns uh, significant points for having adopted Freeboard, which is an additional elevation requirement above the NFIP minimums. And they also adopted the IBC and the IRC. Upper Augusta Borough got CRS credit for their channel debris removal program. This documents the inspection of public and private drainage systems and the removal of debris when it's needed. Actions like these have direct impact on reduced flood losses for both the homeowners and business owners in these communities.